Hey everybody, hope you, uh, you're having a great Saturday, just gearing up for Sunday morning and looking forward uh, to our time together. We're going to be here at 9.30 and 11. You can register to join us at ctkgibsons.com and we're going to be in 1 Samuel chapter 8 and it's kind of a fun chapter like all these chapters in 1 Samuel and this time uh, we're going to be looking at the, the requests of the children of Israel to have a king, to have a king like the other nations around them. And it's funny, it makes me think of this, like, do you ever find yourself complaining about government? Does that ever happen in your household? No, probably not your household. That's just me. That's just my household or whatever. But no, look, at this is the pastime of, pe of people to complain about government. And here's Israel. We're going to come to 1 Samuel chapter 8. They're a theocracy. That means they're ruled by God. God is their king, but they want to be like the other nations. And so they're going to make a request of Samuel to have a king like the other nations. And Samuel is going to be caught in this spot where he's going between the people of God and the Lord and just pouring out his heart to God. And God is going to say, give them what they asked for. Now, I was thinking about that because, you know, sometimes I go to God in prayer. You go to God in prayer and we say, God, how come you're not answering my prayers? Like, I've asked you for this. I think I know best. I think that this is a good thing for me. This is what I want. And we're sometimes disappointed when the Lord says no or not yet, or he gives the, the yes, but sometimes disappointed about not receiving answers to prayer in the way that we would like. Well, I just have to say, when you read this story, you come to realize is that one of the worst things that can actually happen is for God to give you the very thing you asked for. Because sometimes what you're asking for is not his perfect plan, his perfect will, and his best for you. And when he gives you what you're actually asking for, then sometimes that doesn't always have the best outcomes about it. So we're going to find out what happened here with the children of Israel. God is going to give them what they asked for. And, and we'll find out whether what they have asked for is the best for them or not. And so, hey, come join us Sunday morning, 1 Samuel chapter 8. Look forward to having you with us. Okay, have a great day. God bless.